Hi, it's Marcy and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanna share with you how I took these really cool red leather club chairs and we're going to paint them with leather acrylic paint. We're gonna turn them from drab to fab in no time at all. All our chair needs is a little TLC. Comfortable chair, plus the right paint, a little love, and you've got yourself an amazing piece of furniture. Let the transformation begin. Let's go over the few materials that you're gonna need for this transformation. A drop cloth, essential. And you need a glove just to protect your hands from the paint, your paint. I'm using the Angelus Red Leather Acrylic Paint. There were many reds to choose from, but this one seemed to fit my bill. alcohol and this will be used to degrease your leather. We'll get all the grimy fingerprints and all the oils and all the buildup that have accumulated over the years. And I have like 19 years in this baby right here. So believe me, there's a lot of years of accumulation of stuff. And I have a paintbrush. Let's get going. I'm gonna first start with the chair and then we'll go on to the ottoman. We have two chairs to do. We're going to degrease it first. Little shake, shake, shake. Mmm, this color is so beautiful. Check that out. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Oh my god, so exciting. All right. I think I'm just gonna. Wow. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. When I first saw these chairs, I was in a big box store down here in South Florida. I was buying furniture for my very first home and I was going up the escalator and there on the landing were these two amazing club chairs. These indeed were there with the ottoman, candy red, so glorious. Oh my gosh, I was like, those are for me. Those are so incredible. The only thing I did wrong was I didn't buy four of them. So 19 years later, they are still in their integrity in terms of how they, they feel when you sit in them. They're so luxurious. Mm-hmm, wow. Wow, that's all I can say is wow. Okay, so check this out. We have one coat of paint on our chair and you can tell the different areas receive the paint a little differently. This was pretty stressed out here, but it's definitely gonna need a second and third coat. The same with this over here. That was in pretty bad condition, as well as over here, and the paint looks a little different. The back as well. I'd say two or three coats for the entire chair. It's gonna look like a brand new piece of furniture. Ready to fall in love again. All right, let's start coat number two. We are in our second coat. We just finished with both chairs. Beautiful. Definitely gonna do the third coat. Now look at this, check this out. This is the hassock. This is the ottoman that goes with the set. Dingy, fabulous. 
dingy transformation. So cool. Third coat, here we come. And then we will work on the ottoman. Outstanding. Fabulous. Dingy. It's seven o'clock in the morning and this is the light that we're getting from the outside. And they are looking magnificent. I love it, love it, love them. Actually, we're gonna start our first coat on our ottoman. Right now, I wanna go and degrease it and get all the junk off of it. I'm gonna use my, my hassock here as the palette. To hold the paint. There's really no need to have to put it into a cup or anything like that. None that I can think of, at least. Now you notice that I'm using a really good cut-in brush. I bought this at Home Depot. This is a very good brush versus the disposable brushes. Now I have more luck in using this type of brush for this particular project. I found in my last project that I used the disposable brushes with the paint that I had more bristles that came off and it's just something that if you are going to use the disposable brushes, you really need to be very, very cognizant if anything gets stuck or the bristles come off and it gets stuck, you have to remove them immediately. So I just find that it's just better to use a better brush. I want you to see how distressed this leather really is. It's better light right here. And you can see, I just poured the paint on. Wow. I'm beginning to put the second coat on the hassock and this area is receiving the second coat. And you can tell on the sides here that, uh, you know, you can see the brush strokes, etc. So much, very much like the chairs, uh, they will need a, maybe a third and fourth coat. That's okay. Plenty of paint. Our second coat on the hassock is dry. And you can tell right here that we need a little bit of work, a little bit of paint. And some areas took the paint a little differently, just as we expected. So I'm gonna just pour some of this out. Now here, this area right here is not from the effects of the paint. It's from me letting my dog use my ottoman for his personal comfort. With a little time, determination, and patience, you too can transform your own leather chairs. It's easy peasy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have an amazing week.